What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Mike. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. It's great to see you again. So guys, today's episode, we're going to show you how to install string lights to your covered patio. These string lights are from a company called XM Cozy Plus. They're 98 feet of string lights. These lights are not multicolored. I've got a video right here of that installation. However, these lights are warm white and you can control these lights with an app from your phone for brightness control and scheduling, which is pretty cool. So today, we're gonna install these lights to our covered patio. We'll do it quickly and thoroughly. I'll explain in detail every step of the process. And at the end, I'll give you three or four tips on how to install these lights to your covered patio. So without further ado, let's get started. And guys, don't forget, hit subscribe. It's free. Woo! All right, guys, let's get started. So first, this is our location for the installation, our brand new patio cover. And there'll be a video link at the end of this video for the installation of this patio cover. Our patio is 22 feet by 11 feet, which gives us a total of 55 feet for all three sides. And you're probably wondering why we didn't hang lights on the other end of the patio near that wall. And the truth is, we ran out of lights. And like I said before, this kit is 98 feet. However, this kit is two strands connected together. Each strand is 49 feet. So for our needs, we only used one strand, 49 feet. I can use the other strand somewhere else on the house. And this light kit is priced at less than $70. And this light kit includes the two 49 foot strands with a controller and two extra bulbs and the user manual. And we did consider using all 98 feet under the patio cover, but for our style, we wanted it a little bit more relaxing and not so bright and 98 feet would be way too much light. So the first thing you need to determine is where are the lights gonna start at? Where are they gonna plug in? And this is our starting location. And I installed a steel guide wire to the wall with a turnbuckle. And the turnbuckle is connected to that bolt that was screwed into a stud. It ain't going anywhere. And right above the patio cover is where we'll plug in the light and mount the control box. This steel guide wire and two turnbuckles came with a kit we installed earlier the XM Cozy RGBW kit. And we did need it for that installation, but now we need it. Our plan is to run the steel guide wire all the way around the patio to the other side and connect it to another bolt. And then we have two options. First option, we can hang the string lights on the guide wires with hooks. And second option, we can run the guide wire through each hole at the top of each light. And we chose option number two. We felt that it would look better and be more secure in the wind. So at this point, we simply ran the guide wire through each hole at the top of each light. And we did this all the way till the end of the patio for a total of seven lights. Then we wrapped the guide wire around the back side of the patio at the top. And it came around to the other side. And from there, we'll run it back the other way and secure it to the wall with a turnbuckle to a bolt. And we chose to run the lights from one side of the patio to the other by hanging light number seven and then hanging light number 10 on the other side. And these two lights, eight and nine, will hang in the middle. And then we'll go back the other way with five more lights, and then we're done. And now we'll connect the steel guide wire to the bolt on the wall. And the turnbuckle will allow you to loosen or tighten the steel guide wire. I want it to be kind of tight so the lights didn't hang down too much. And this is the finished product. I ended up using some screws to attach the guide wire to the middle of the frame on each side of the patio cover. And then I attached the guide wire with an additional screw on each side closer to the wall. This raised the string lights a little bit higher up. And also for safety, in case a turnbuckle broke, this would prevent the lights from falling into the pool. And that would be shocking. Really shocking. And now the last thing to do is mount that controller box. Okay, let's go ahead and mount this probably right here with the, yeah, I'll probably put it right here perfect spot for it that's the way it's out of the way of the rain and wind and we get snow sometimes so the easiest way to do this is to attach the controller box with double-sized sticky tape we use gorilla brand 30 pound weight this box ain't going anywhere and I use two pieces of tape which should hold 60 pounds so we're all good so next thing you want to do is download the XM cozy plus app and add your lights to the app 
Just follow the instructions. You'll need to connect your lights to the 2.4 GHz band on your Wi-Fi. And once you're all done, you can now control your lights from the app. Adjust the brightness and set schedules. And that's it guys, we're done installing these lights and setting everything up. And guys, here's a few tips when installing these lights to an aluminum patio cover. First thing you want to do is determine where the lights are going to start and how you're going to plug them in. So you need to plan accordingly, close to an outlet. Also, that black box controller has to be secured in a place where it won't get wet. Under a roof line is good. That's where we installed ours. And of course, I recommend using steel guide wire to run these lights securely. However, you could connect these to the aluminum patio with screws. And if your patio is made of wood, this technique works as well. And you could also use nails to hang the lights on as well. Just remember, a little bit of pre-planning goes a long ways. It'll save you a lot of time and a lot of headaches. And guys, as far as the review goes for these lights, this is our second set of XM Cozy lights and we love them. They're easy to install, they look beautiful, and have lots of features. My favorite feature is the scheduling feature. So the lights go on automatically and turn off automatically. Super convenient. And the product link for these lights will be in the description below. So make sure to grab you a set. They're a great deal. Well guys, we're all done here. And I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And as usual, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it.